that time of the year again and no you're not too late to learn yet another version of Jingle Bells. And I know it's sort of overused and it's a bit of a cliche but it's also a great song to practice your bottleneck and finger picking with. Before we get into the lesson let me just quickly tell you that the downloadable PDF and Guitar Pro format tab is over at my Patreon page. And thank you for thinking about supporting me. If you're about to get me a Christmas present, <laughs> that would be the best thing. But back to the lesson. This song is um, sort of easy in the beginning, but gets a bit uh, more complicated throughout. There's two techniques I want to talk about. First one is pick blocking. You might have noticed that I'm not playing the main melody like this. <laughs> cutting the note sh uh, short because I'm playing with the rhythm to have like a bouncy staccato -y feeling. So basically what I'm doing here is uh, I take my picking finger, in this case it, it is my middle finger but you can use it with your index as well. So whichever finger you're picking the melody, the first string with, I put it back before I pick it again to mute the string. So this is just like I said called pick blocking, pick blocking and it's gonna be very important when you try to pay, play uh, Derek tracks or Dwayne Allman style lead lines with, uh, with, with uh, well it doesn't have to be an electric guitar but with, with an overdrive throughout the amp because that really amplifies all the noises and you have to be really clean and the best way to do that is pick blocking but that's gonna be a separate video this is just a short introduction how to well block or, or mute the strings to, to bounce with the rhythm because yes resonator guitars are, are nice because they have a lot of overtones <laughs> It's often a great idea to let the resonator ring but every now and then you have to mix it up and and play with the rhythm play with uh, play with the well, the melody the other thing is that I'm not sliding uh, from every note to the other because uh, just because you have a bottleneck on your on your finger you don't have to slide into everything that's again just a matter of taste but I wanted to point out that that you can use the slide sparingly you don't have to slide into every note the other technique I would like to talk about is some sort of fretting behind the slide when I come into the F sharp bar chord <laughs> when I play this I basically start out with, with an F sharp bar on all six strings, but then I push up my bottleneck to uh, to cover only the second to the sixth string. So I'm leaving the first string open, but because I want to play an F sharp seven, I put my index finger down on the second fret. And then this is a melody. Sorry, this is the melody. The last note is basically a slide. And I do the same thing here on the G. Actually, you know what? I don't do the same here. I'm actually fretting behind the slide. So I'm not pushing it up. To let the first string open, I'm just fretting behind it. So this song showcases two types of fretting behind the slide. One is when you push up the slide to let the first fret open, and uh, well, usually use your index finger to fret something, or uh, just play behind the slide without pushing it or raising it anywhere. And I guess these are all the things. Well, I guess you do it on the A chord as well. So you got the tab, I think you can check it out. And I'm always available for Skype lessons if you wanna learn more about these techniques. So anyway, that's this lesson. Have a Merry Christmas, everyone. And uh, as always, thank you for watching. Stick around next year as well.